क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 टू ट्रेन्स x एंड y लीव स्टेशन p एंड स्टेशन q साइमल्टेनियसली एंड ट्रैवल टुवर्ड्स q एंड p एट कांस्टेंट स्पीड्स रेस्पेक्टिवली सो वी हैव टू स्टेशंस p एंड q and there is a train x that starts from p and move towards q while train y starts from q and move towards p they meet at a point in between the two stations and then after crossing each other suppose they meet at a point somewhere over here which may be the midpoint which may not be right now we don't know and they reach their respective destinations in 50 minutes and 32 minutes respectively they meet at a point in between two stations so suppose m is the point where they are going to meet and once they meet then further they take 50 minutes and 32 minutes so definitely they did not meet at the center because if they would have met at the midpoint or they at the center most point then they would have taken equal time to cover the remaining distance right since the time taken are different that means uh, x is moving slower okay now the question is how long did train x take to cover the entire journey between station q and station p so we need to find out how much time did x take to go from p to m well uh, if x took t time to go from p to m y also must have taken t time to go from q to m because they started simultaneously and they are going to meet right so whenever two bodies they start simultaneously and they meet same opposite random direction time is always constant and this time meeting time is given as geometric mean of the time they take to cover their respective uh, uh to, to to reach their respective destinations after meeting so this is going to be under root 15 into 32 which i can write this as 25 and 2 can go there and become 64 so this becomes 5 into 8 which becomes 40 so they took 40 minutes to meet each other so train x definitely took 40 minutes to go from p to m and another 50 minutes from m to q so total time train x took was 90 minutes 40 plus 50 so do remember this shortcut this is applicable whenever two bodies from the opposite direction they meet and after meeting they don't stop they continue their respective destinations and they reach their end points or the starting point of the other body this will always work